One of the things that I get asked regularly is how do I keep track of my players' selections? How do I keep track of the avatar that they've selected or the sprite that they've selected for their character in the environment? How do I add uh, the inventory objects or keep track of everything that's, that's involved with working with what the player has selected in the Lua scripting language? So with this tutorial, I'm going to show how to select basic player setup, how to keep track of that information and store that. I'm going to use the Solar 2D, formerly known as Corona SDK for this example, but everything that I'm doing would apply to anything that is using the Lua scripting language. Uh, Roblox, Defold, uh, Lover, uh, all of those these different tool sets that use Lua all work this way. As I said, I'm going to use the Solar 2D engine. The easiest way to keep track of something that's going to be referenced all the time is put it in as a global variable. Now we can use local variables and pass information from screen to screen inside our environment, but if you're going to use it all the time, that's why we have global variables. That's why they're there. So let's use a global variable to keep track of this. And, and of course, everything that I'm doing could be done as a local variable and simply passed from routine to routine in, this, in your application. In the Lua scripting language, to designate something as a global variable, we do it with an underscore. Helps if you have the right application selected. You do it with an underscore capital G, and then the name of your variable. So I'm going to call this my avatar. Something real simple, and we'll just simply open it, create it with an empty string. If I then want to say my avatar dot image, if I want to select a specific sprite or something to go with it, I can then designate the PNG file that's going to be involved with that. If I want to set hit points for the character, if I'm playing that kind of game, I can set the hit points. Whatever you want to do then, once this is created as an object, you can add these attributes to that variable. Creating it as a global passes all of this information on with it. So I'm going to create a real simple application, as I said, and it's just going to put some images up. I've already created some very simple graphics to go with this project. I'm going to, now, now this part right here, this is Coronas or Solar 2D specific, um, the, the display.new text. Every single application out there that is using Lua has something to display text. This is how Solar 2D does it. I'm going to create a local variable called my title text. And this part right here is the Solar 2D specific display.new text, and I can then pass it my text and the X and Y location. If I save it at this point, we get select your avatar, as you can see up here in on my screen. Real simple stuff, as I said. That, that This is a combination of Lua and Solar 2D on this command. But as I said, everything's got it. Okay, so I created in my folder, let me pull up my folder here, some spheres or um, some PNG files. I've got a blue circle, a blue square, a red circle, and a red square. These are going to represent my avatars. Of course, they could be sprites um, or, or 3D objects if I'm doing lover. So we need to get those loaded into the system. That's easy to do. I'm going to create a variable called red square. It's going to be a local variable. The solar 2D part is display.new image, which will load my PNG file. Red square dot avatar. So this is a parameter that I'm adding to the variable red square, and I'm setting it equal to the name of my sprite or my avatar or the image that I'm loading. And then we set it to its location, the X and Y location in the, the environment. If I do a save at this point, you can see I get a, a square. So I'm, I've got four of these. I'm just going to add them in real quick so that you can see what's happening and so that this tutorial doesn't last forever. There we go. So now I've got four objects on my screen. Once they've got that selected, then we need a, a function 
that is going to allow them, based upon what they select, to show what they've done. I've got a function that when the player taps the object, it's going to spawn an event, and based upon that event, it's going to pass the event target.avatar, which is this variable right here. And again, this is not Corona or uh, Solar 2D specific. This is Lua specific. So I've set the parameter avatar equal to what the sprite or the graphic object that is going to be associated with that object is. So based upon that, I can then in my global variable, my avatar, set that equal to the events target avatar. So event target is the event that was tapped on on the player's screen. And that creates that this, this event function and passes the avatar setting to my avatar. So, and then I added a simple print so that we can see what was tapped and we'll, we'll display it then in your console. One last thing that I need to do here is create the the events. I add an event listener that when the red square, red circle, blue square, or blue circle is tapped, it will call the function on object tap. So that will pass that back there. And now we can save. If I tap something, it'll show that the red square PNG was selected because that's what I tapped. We could add a little bit more code to our function. And this is just for a little bit of fun. I'm going to add another text that shows here that your avatar that you selected uh, below my circles and squares here, and then show which one was actually selected, which avatar based upon the my avatar global variable that was selected. So we'll save this and update, and there we go. Now, right now, I don't have anything moving beyond this. When the player selects, they, they can change their mind, basically. There we have it. I've recorded the player's information that is now in the global variable. It is for use throughout the application. Now, if we wanted to use this long term so that the application, when the player restarted the application, it still had that selection, I would need to save my avatar parameters to an external file, a text file or JSON file to hold that information. Uh, that's not difficult. If you want to see a tutorial on that, put it in the comments down below and I'll be happy to create a tutorial on saving to a JSON file. Or you could buy my book. It shows how to save information to databases, uh, NoSQL, uh, how to save things to the cloud, or all of that. Links to the books are in the description down below. Thanks.